Hi, it's Diane, and welcome to the Cultivate with Courage YouTube channel. Before we get started with today's video, I want to remind you to subscribe and turn on the bell notifications so that way you get updates anytime I share new information. In today's video, we are going to talk about a personal development plan, why it's important now more than ever, and what it is, what it isn't, and I'm also gonna share some of the techniques that I've used in my own personal development plan to achieve my goals. I'm also super excited to announce that I am opening my calendar for 10 30-minute personal development sessions where we will have one-on-one -on -one time together to get you started on creating your own personal development plan or revisiting and updating your existing one. Now, before we go any further, let's go ahead and just point out the obvious issue going on with my eyes. I woke up two days ago with um, this blood vessel in my eye. No infection, there's no real pain. It, it, I can obviously feel it, but that is the life of a YouTuber. <laughs> the show must go on, so let's get into it. Making money like a man. Laying in my eyes. Now, personal development. What I think is really important for me to start off and sharing is personal development is not self help. Personal development is not a sign of weakness. It is not a sign of failure. Personal development is the commitment to continuously focus on developing your best version of yourself. It takes courage, it takes time, it takes patience, it takes focus and a commitment. So those who you find the most inspiring, those who you see are accomplishing their goals, accomplishing everything that they're set out to be, I can tell you they're not just waking up in the morning, rolling out of bed and voila, right? It's there on a silver platter. They are working very hard to achieve their goals. In today's environment, we all have a new unnormal because of COVID-19. We're all forced to work at home in our bedrooms. We have kids, we have dogs, everything, and we can't go anywhere because of social distancing. So it's really put the magnifying glass on ourselves, on our families, on our space. And the, the expectations that you have of yourself, where you are in your own self-discovery process, and you know, what it is that you're looking to accomplish, right? And those short term and in the long term. A personal development plan is not a one and done. It's not gonna remain the same. As you grow, as you evolve, as you achieve your goals, your personal development plan is going to evolve and grow with you. It's going to change with you. But that's a good thing, that's exciting. So let me share the key components of a personal development plan, regardless of how big or small you want to start or how broad or narrowed you want to make your goals. One, we talked about it. You need to know yourself. It requires you to unravel your opportunities, your strengths, and to be honest with yourself about those. From there, it's identifying where it is that you want to achieve growth because personal growth is holistic it's not one part of a person it is mind it is body it is you know learning it is spiritual it can be anything right it can be learning a new skill it can be having better relationships it could be you know so many different things so the key components are one knowing yourself being honest um, and self-aware of what your strengths are what your opportunities are Two, being honest about where you want to focus and what you want to achieve growth in. The, the third thing is understanding what you need to get there, right? So what skills do you currently have that you can leverage, that you can maximize to you know, help you achieve your goals? What are the things that you need to learn, right? What are some of those things that you need to have an open mindset on to maybe change your habits? or change your thoughts or your thought process or change the ecosystem that you surround yourself with. Fourth is to make a plan. This is where we get into the meats and the bones. So this is where we get very tactical on what that looks like, right? How do we put that into practice? 
How long do we think that's gonna take? Um, number five, which I think is super important, is accountability. Because are you willing to hold yourself accountable? Um, and knowing that personal development is not a one time, you got it, you're done, you know, check the box, let's move on. Personal development is just like anything. It takes resilience, it takes patience, it takes kindness to yourself. So it's the promise that you're making to yourself to hold yourself accountable, to be the best version of you for yourself. I am so excited to be able to work with you and to share in more details how to cultivate the courage for personal growth. And I look forward to hearing comments from you. I look forward to, to meeting some of you in a one-on-one -on -one session. Make sure that you share your feedback and your comments. I'd love to know what else you'd like to hear from me. And until next time, stay inspired and cultivate with courage. Making money like a mint. Laying in my eyes like shrimp. Like